I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and welcome to Viewer Emails! Viewer Emails! And I tell you what, I tell you what, my watch collection is better than the Magnificent Seven in one watch! Look at that! Look at that! I'm not even including that fake 3919! Or that fake VC! That's a watch, fuckers! Show me your watches, Magnificent Seven! That's a fucking watch! That's a watch, fuckers! And let's jump into the mailbag. And I gotta say a big thank you. Kenny Nguyen, thank you! Thank you for continuing to sponsor me, even though so many nasty fuckers are trying to hurt Archibald. So I'd like to say thank you, Kenny. And if anyone is looking for a watch this Christmas, please... Go to Jewelers on Time. Kenny's an honest man. He's a gentleman. And uh, I'd gladly back up everything he sells with an Archie Luxury warranty. So, please. Please. You want a good deal? You want to buy a great watch for Christmas? Kenny New End, fuckers. Okay, let's jump right into the mailbag. And here we go. Gary sent me an email. Hi Archie, just flicked you 10 US dollars. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Loving the way you're pumping out the vids lately. You're like a one-man production factory. Keep pumping them out. Thank you. And just ignore the haters. Uh, now, here we go. Here's my question. I've got a 39mm Rolex Explorer 1. The 214270, the current model. Nice watch. I am ready to flip it and try something new. Ooh. Truth is, I've been through the current, through of the current Rolex range, the Rolex Ceramic, the 42mm Explorer 2, and the Explorer 1, and I just prefer the size, shape, and look of the classic vintage pieces. I've owned vintage Rolexes in the past and sold them. Now the prices have gone sky high. Oh, fuck. Tell me about it. I had a red sub, orange hand, 1973 Explorer 2. I had a prototype, well, it was actually a, a factory testing sea dweller. And uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, it's very, very nasty there. I had an offer, I had a guy offer me a Rolex, sorry, a Tudor Submariner 79190 plus cash from my Explorer 1. This watch is the last of the Tudor subs before they got all the Hydra nut ugliness. The 79190 has a sapphire crystal, but retains a matte dial with painted hour markers. What do you think? Should I trade? Gotta be honest with you, no fucking way in the world. I mean, I've owned that, that model of uh, Tudor myself. It's a great watch. It was my beater. It was my beater. No, 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 definitely no. I, I, I would not do that. Uh, I'm just going to type in a reply there. No. No, no. Keep, keep, the, keep the Explorer 1. I can't believe you'd fucking do that. You know, in all honesty there, the Explorer 1 is such a cool watch. That is so cool. I reckon instead of fucking selling what you've got, you need to add, add more pieces. If I were you, I'd be adding a no-date sub. A 14060, okay? Because that's around the 40 mil size. That's a fucking sexy piece. That's a much better piece than that fucking Tudor. And uh, that's just my opinion there. I, I, I reckon myself, you're crazy to consider swapping a, uh, a Rolex Explorer 1 for a fucking, fucking Tudor. That's crazy. It's crazy, Gary. And I, I'm the one who's going to save you from this mistake. So please, please, don't do it, okay? Don't fucking do it. It's a mistake. It's a disaster. It's a disaster, Gary. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Okay, now, I've got, another, I've got an email in here from Francis Duafor. What Speedmaster reference do you think is the most important for a collector? What year was the ceramic bezel introduced on the Submariner? Where can one find the best deal on the 
aforementioned watches. I donated twice, 70 US. You never answer any of my questions, fucker Frank. Foo, nasty, nasty, nasty. Okay, Frank, do a four. Let's answer it. What reference is the best Speedmaster to get? Well, there's, the best Speedmaster is the pre moon with the three, two, one movement. Okay, that's the best movement. Because the Speedmaster went from the 321, it went to the 861, then it went to the 1861. I reckon myself, the 321 movement piece, that's the vintage uh, pre moon piece, that is the best piece to have. That's the best, most regarded movement. They're quite expensive, they're getting, they're climbing up, particularly if you've got original hands. The hands seem to make be so important. I'm not a Speedmaster expert. All I know is I sold one to a so-called friend who stabbed me. You know, that's what I fucking know about Speedmasters. I've made mistakes. What year was the ceramic bezel introduced on the Submariner? Man, man, I'm not a fucking encyclopedia. It was in recent times, okay? It was in recent times. It's in the last 10 years. And uh, I'll leave that open to the audience. Man, I'm more... My, my forte is 90s early noughties. I'm pre-ceramic. Pre. Pre-ceramic. So it wasn't done that long ago. Where can one find the best deals on the aforementioned watches? Simple. Simple. Kenny Nguyen. Jewelers on time. Now I mean this in, in all honesty. Okay, no, no bullshit. Okay, please, please hear me out. I've been all over the fucking joint. Okay, I went to, I went to Hong Kong, Bangkok, Singapore, and I've went and looked at so many uh, pieces. And I've got to tell you the truth. You want a good deal? Stay in America. There's better deals. Because of the currency, there's no deals in Asia anymore. Asia is fucked. Buy pre-owned. Buy from Kenny Nguyen, Jewelers on Time. Now, if you mention the fact that, hey, I'm an Archie Luxury fan, Kenny will give you special pricing. And with that said, let's take a commercial break. Jewelers on time, fuckers. Jewelers on time. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. Thank you, Kenny Nguyen! Okay, I got another interesting email in. This is from Peter from Australia. Peter! Hello, Pete! Hello, Pete! Hello, Peter. He says, I'm a 24-year-old and live in Adelaide in South Australia. I graduated from uni and now work full-time in a professional environment. Submarine target! I am looking to get my first decent watch. Automatic and have always been into Rolex sports. Because I'm not a guru and don't want to get duped into a fake, I want to buy brand new from an authorised dealer. Fuck me dead, Pete! Fuck me dead! You need to forget this shit, man. If you're not going to fucking listen to me, stop watching the channel now! Stop! You need to buy pre-owned from Sydney Vintage Watches or Brisbane Vintage Watches. You ring those fuckers up and you tell them that Archie sent you through the door, they will look after you. No date ceramic or a blue black ceramic GMT. Fuck man. Get a pre-ceramic. The ceramics I, I've been told by a Rolex dealer are easy to break 
and fucking expensive to fix. <coughs> Pre-ceramic is where the investment dollar's going, fuckers. Pre-ceramic, fuckers. Pre-ceramic. That's where I'd be putting my money. Pre-ceramic, fuckers. Pre, pre-ceramic, fuckers. So, uh, there you go, fuckers. Buy pre owned If you're going to buy new, just fuck off now. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to take a break. Let's take a break and we'll be right back. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome. Today I just wanted to introduce my good friends www.luxurywatchstraps.net And uh, if you're a watch enthusiast, a watch collector, if you're passionate about your watches, these people here are passionate about straps to make your watch look wonderful www.luxurywatchstraps.net has a full range of exotic leathers whether it's shark skin, crocodile, stingray or horse or normal cow leather www.luxurywatchstraps has a range of straps to suit all people whether you're buying one strap or you're buying over 50 straps www.luxurywatchstraps.net is there to help. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell them I sent you. See you later. I'm back. And fuckers, today, let's have a look at another email in. This is from Mike. Hi, Archie. I liked your video on the two-piece scenario, which got me thinking, why don't, they, why don't you keep the no date sub and the reverso and sell the rest and get a few bucks in? I don't know your entire financial situation, but that would bring in at least 30k. I'm just doing a quick swag, and they are two kick ass pieces, and it keeps down the maintenance service costs. You don't have to have eight watches for all of us to know, all of us to know that you know your shit, mate. Yeah, I agree. I think sometimes the happiest I have been is when I've had less pieces. Less is more. And I gotta tell you, I remember when I owned three pieces. I had my my uh white gold Calatrava 5107, Explorer 1, that was the 14270, and a 16234 steel date just with white gold bezel. Silver dial with stick markers. And I was really happy. Okay, so sometimes you know smaller collection can be better. Gregory Kinder, he's got well, I'll be honest with you, he's got two decent pieces. He's got his uh, Reverso in rose gold, and he's got a two-tone Submariner. Two-tone Submariner. And he's got a Quartz Seamaster, but that's a piece of shit. But I just don't want to tell Greg to his face. I mean, fuck me dead. You can't have Quartz watches in a men's collection. I mean, that's just passe, fuckers. Passe. But... For me, being Archie Luxury, I need to put the Magnificent Seven to shame. One watch here is more than the entire Magnificent Seven collection combined. And uh, sometimes you just, when you're a guru, you need that guru status. And nothing says guru like a solid gold submariner in mint condition. It tells the people to fuck off. But uh, <coughs> I don't know what number is perfect. The interesting thing, the Archie 5, you don't know something? I think 5 is the perfect number for me. And I've still got one hole to fill. Like, you think about it, okay? Five watches, Archie 5. I've got, a, I've got the, um, the dress watch. I've got two reversos. I've got formal dress and semi-formal dress. Formal dress would be the tribute to 1931. Semi-formal dress would be the Reverso Grand Date. I've got the Breguet for going to a horse racing, you know, a very formal event. I've got the No Date Sub for class and style and job interviews. I've got the Solid Gold Sub to tell people to fuck off. What I'd need is a GMT function watch. So I think the GMT is in the future. The perfect collection is a core of watches. It doesn't have everything. Perfect collection, you've got one more to get. 
and uh, I'd also love another Speedmaster Man on the Moon. If I could get one for two and a half thousand Aussie, under ten years old, full service history, uh, service from one of the top watchmakers for two and a half Aussie, <coughs> it's twenty two US. I'd snap at it, but I can't. That's uh, an interesting thing. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think for myself, the Archie 5, 5 seems to be the number. And I've got one more to get, which maybe you don't need to attain it. You just need to have a, a goal. You know, you know what I mean? So I, I do agree with that. I think it's very interesting. 5 seems to work with me, the Archie 5. Tell me what you think the perfect number is for you. I'm Archerfield, Chesterfield the third. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great show today. Hello, my name is Cherry. I want to help anyone in the Brisbane area looking for a quality late model, low kilometer used car. Um, I'm looking for people in the Brisbane, Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast area of Queensland in Australia. You know, my friend Benny is an honest man who sells quality used cars. Benny is a good guy and he will look after you. Because Benny only sells quality cars. <laughs> Please call Benny on 0432 279 202. Ah, uh. Fuck! What a mob of cunts! You know, none of those cunts have been sending any donations in. What a fucking mob of cunts!